Hey guys, I hate to do that to you, but I'm for once going to work on a piece of modern HP hardware. And this is an HP PhotoSmart color printer. Oh, HP, how low have you fallen? This is all plasticky, miserable stuff. Uh, and um, no low cost inject printer, and of course, it can't print the darn thing. Look at that, it's missing bars and colors and everybody complains about it and they say, well, change your printer and I should do the same, but you know, I like, I like even the modern HP stuff, I should not, this is worse less. And uh, the cartridges are fixed here and uh, there's just an, an import and an out port. Uh, for the uh, for the ink, so there must be tubes and the head moves and it's clogged in there. And of course, uh, since it's modern HP stuff, didn't dare to make it accessible. Oh well, we are going to attempt to uh, repair this. Because you have to press on here to dislodge it. Uh, yeah, I think I have it. Oh, it's this and that, at the same time, there's a place for the finger and it comes just right out. Alright, so if we Now it starts to get more interesting. So uh, finally we get to see some technology that's not as depressing as all this plasticky stuff and definitely rather impressing so, impressive. So there is it's basically the higher end printing technology adapted to low cost printer. So it's a moving head with the tubes, a pump going through all the inks uh, like they have in their very large professional plotters. Uh, and I'm, I'm, now I'm suitably impressed here that they, they could package this. But that's going to make the repair quite difficult because I have obviously one of the tubes, or maybe two, are not opened. Uh, they get no ink at all, so they are clogged. And look at there, it could be clogged here, it could be clogged here, it could be clogged at the pump, it could be clogged anywhere. And I reattached uh, the top lid, which has a button, so we cannot turn it on without the top lid. Uh, so let's throw it into a cleaning cycle and see what happens. Door opened. In cartridge access door is open. Okay. So now I have to find the micro switch somewhere to defeat that stupid door open message. Okay, I'm going to cleverly defeat the switch by putting that in. There. The head is it's life in the head. Okay, let's go see over there because we see the sponge pad. Yeah, this is just flooded with ink over here. Okay, now I can move this. Uh, I might have caught it in a wrong part of the cycle, but I'll clean that mess here. That's the scrubbing sponge for the head. Okay, and, and this plate was totally flooded with ink, and I removed the screw. And now I am you know, trying to clean even deeper. Okay, it's a lot cleaner, and in particular here, uh, that might be a blessing. This is the brush that cleans the head, and it was saturated with ink. So I cleaned it and saturated it with uh, uh, the natural al alcohol or isopropyl alcohol would do. And I hope that will help um, unclog the print heads. Okay, another thing that's not right is that these things which are used uh, during the cleaning process and uh, to lift some uh, you know, stoppers uh, this is broken and it's moving around, so this is no good. It's not going to lift the lids when it should. So I need to repair that before I do anything else. You see there's a crack right here, a big one. 
All right, epoxy to the rescue. Okay, so I repaired my actuator here and I'm pretty darn sure this was uh, part of uh, my biggest problem uh, because it prevented the uh, heads from cleaning properly. I'll show you why. So let's go do a clean head. There you go. So here we go. And yep, now it works. It uh, moved that thing up and it's starting to uh, make the ink flow. Actually, this one is flowing now and this one is still not, so I'm still missing the red. And then it goes the other direction, opens this up, pumps some more, pump, 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 pump. Now oh, you can see here the ink flowing. scrubbing the heads now and this I know uh, is working fine uh, because it already improved the black a lot so that's where I'm at uh, that's the uh, advanced testing uh, you get that when you press uh, cancel and OK together that's what it used to be and that's what it's now uh, so you can tell it's uh, oriented the same way so now black heads perfect yellow is perfect light cyan here is good the cyan is clogged I can see the ink is not moving the light magenta is fine and the magenta is a weird color and so the two that are not working the cyan and the magenta sure enough are the two extremes where this uh, was not opening while cleaning so they probably I have been cleaned for years, I just didn't know and they eventually clog so I have to figure out how to get those two uh, clean unclogged um, so that's where it's gonna be messy so I have myself all dressed up um, syringe of alcohol Flowing. So the only other part of the tube where it might be clogged is now the one that goes from the pump to the cartridge. And uh, I made myself a little tube. This is insulation for a speaker wire. That's good enough so I can insert it on the bottom inlet. The top doesn't matter, the top is the drain. The drain goes to that box here, so I want the, the bottom that goes to the pump. You pump alcohol in there, there we go. And try to clean it up. And now things are much better, I see ink flowing on uh, the blue and the red. There you go, that's what... Uh, Punk ping uh, uh, alcohol in the lines did first they were all clogged except uh, the yellow and now I've recovered this one fully and the uh, uh, red one not quite uh, but I pumped a little bit more and it's coming there so I, I must have alcohol and dilutes the ink but it's unclogged okay it's back on in my office and uh, let's try to see if we fix it. So test page is OK, cancel. Alright. Page 2 and 
look, here are all the colors, uh, except the uh, magenta, I changed the cartridge, it has not reached quite yet, the ink. But uh, this is what I started from. You can hardly read the black and it's full of streaks. And this is where we are now, so I think I fixed it. That was tough. But guys, you know me, and since you have watched until the end of the video, I don't want to leave you on this impression of uh, this you no know, poor piece of plasticky stuff. This is not what HP stands for. This is what HP is for me. This is, you have seen it in another video, the first HP inkjet printer, the one that caused a revolution. And you know, use, it's 35 years old, and you stick a new cartridge in it, and it still prints. And just for kicks, here is what I call an HP printer. HP 2564, 600 lines per minute, also 30, 35 years old. And guess what, I just got it. I'll make a video of it one day. But what we need to do after 35 years is turn it on. Rumbles to life, then you go test, one, enter, and here it goes. 600 lines per minute, folks. And hardly any noise, right? Form three. So this is what HP stood for. This one will never break.